What's up, what's up? How are we all doing? This is Trader R coming to you with another public update. Um, it has been a few months, I tell you. But the plans that we have made out months ago have been following fairly well. So what I'm going to be doing is going over the plans that we had. Um, see what we can go from there and what happened at the, the bottom of this range before we moved up. I'll be going over that. And then I will be looking at future plans, okay? Um, future plans on where BTC could go and I'll go over the pivots too as well. So let's jump right into it, all right? So what actually happened since the last day? I'm, I'm actually, I'm delighted to be on this again, but what actually happened? We actually, we made out two plans, right? We had a bullish and we had a bearish plan, all right? So actually, hold on. We go over this one first because this was the fractal, if you remember, was I think it was back here when I did the update. It was around here. I did the updates. Um, but we had this fractal where I was looking for us to come up and sweep these highs before crashing down, take the lows, and maybe continuation down. But this one, it, it played out nicely in the end. I must say, it did play out all right. The one thing I kind of forgot to go over was this fractal that I pulled. I pulled it on the one exchange that actually comes up and takes the high. Every other exchange, I went back and looked at the fractal. They put in the lower high, and I, I, I didn't, I didn't catch that. I didn't notice because I just looked at that one exchange. But the fractal would have played out perfectly if I just picked on Coinbase or just a normal exchange, you know. Um, but uh, nevertheless, we got the it came up, and on the time it just went straight down, which was very nice. But we didn't get the continuation. What happened below that low is what I'm going to go over next. Because we did have that in the first update, and I think we went over on the second update too. Was I'll go over this one thing because, of course, I'm going to talk about it. Was the TR pocket, right? So we had the TR pocket pulled, and we were waiting for it. You know, we had it on log, we had it on the linear. Um, we were waiting to see if we come down. I was saying if we come down to that TR pocket on the low and hold that TR pocket, I would look for that reversal to the point five. Um, and as well, we had this plan as well. I'm going to remove this. We're going to the bearish plan. We had this plan, right? So this plan was the idea. I think I did this one over here. And I was like, okay, in case we don't come up and take the highs, I expect it to come down, take the lows, and reverse back up. Um, mainly because what I was saying was I'd rather a bull trap because everybody's looking for the same area. And I would like a bull trap to just mess people up you know um and i was saying it's the more reality side of bitcoin if we just head up and we'll straight back down then um which would make sense in my in in my region you know it would make sense as well like we had this volume gap we had the 0.5 of this range um this 0.5 the funny thing is like because i'm using bitcoin usd tether on binance this 0.5 has hit in every other exchange, bar this one, um, which is kind of annoying, you know, because it would have it would have been a nice little update on that. We actually hit the 0.5 and every other exchange, bar this one. This one is going to be my public update um, chart, you know. I'm I'm just going to be this is the one chart for every update and oh, there'll be no new changes on it. Um, I just keep the same thing going. But let's kind of get into it now, okay? So one thing I kind of do want to go over is what happened down here you know what actually happened down here um because i had let's take this off we actually we came into the tr pocket but see the thing is i had a tr pocket module i kind of want to just touch on this a little bit because what happened down here was fairly to the point of what i explained in my strategy video of what deviation patterns happen at a low and i think it would be very useful for some people just give this one little thing out of the video and um let's just jump over to it all right and i'm going to play this i'm going to mute myself so there'll be no echo and the next pattern that i like is this one where okay you get the high you get low you move up you lose the high you come back up you test the point of control of the deviation that's what i call the point of control of the deviation for an even better entry back down to your point five Let's make this white. And it's basically, you coming up. Like when I was saying that you have all these trap traders above the highs, pretty much that's putting in the point of control 
so you're moving up into that and these traders are trying to get out you know they're trying to get out break even that causes a resistance and other people are seeing these point of controls and that's causing it to push it down so see as you can see right so we had a fake out in the range back test that point of control of the deviation and then you get that big move all right and what we actually happened there was let's pull it from here to here okay we had the tr pocket on the low you had the point of control of this deviation you went fake down inside the range and you came back back tested that point of control held it and you got your move up to the 0.5 it was pretty much textbook to what i was teaching in this uh deviation patterns i was there was three of them the other, the other two i'm not going to go over but that was one of them and it was just perfect on bitcoin at that low it's just something a bit of a nugget for you um one of those patterns to be looking out for in the future all right so what i'm going to go over now is we had this bullish plan okay so i had it marked as the bearish plan but we had this bullish plan and I still would like this plan to play out. I must admit, I would like this to play out because what I'm seeing right now, okay, let's just think about the markets right now, right? So everybody sees this big move up, right? And they're all aiming, okay, let's let's run the highs at 25K and let's go back down to 10K. Um, and everybody's saying the same thing. You know, every single person is saying the same thing. So uh, what was happening down there at the lows, everybody was looking for 10K. Now we're up here and everybody's looking for 25K and it had come down, down, to 20, to down to 10K. So let me just get rid of this. So what am I thinking, right? I still like the big plan. I do. Um, let me just put this liquidity here. I'm going to be doing stuff from scratch really, okay? This is more or less the bullish plan, right? So if we hold up in this range here, if we tend to hold the market structure and keep going up, I could see something like maybe come up, give them what they want, and then go back up, all right? So give the people what they want, which is run the highs, okay? Run the highs, bring it down into a potential higher low of this market structure, hit those monthly pivots, hit that yearly pivot on top and then come back down and hit those monthly pivots um which are around here okay let me just put that on traditional just for a second um come up hit down monthly pivots come down hit the traditional monthly pivot um mainly just to give them what they want they'll end up shorting it and then if we go back up it's going to fuel a bigger move to the upside which is what i could be which is kind of the target i'm looking for i'm looking for a bigger move to the upside so like this could be a fuel for them to get trapped it could be a great opportunity but i do think it would be nice fuel to trap them okay so this is just one idea um i'm going to just try and find some confluence for this i i'm thinking i'm going to have to pull out the volume on this but we'll see we'll see what we can come up with um while i do this as well um just mapping out the levels let us know how last week's module went over because i went over a new strategy there last week liquidation levels it was called um for all the members inside how is that module going for you is it good is it helping with your trading is how's the confluence on it because it is pretty much a gold mine let us know in the comments below and as well if you like these updates hit that smash that like button because i'll know myself then if you enjoy me being up here and i can do more of these then you know so just yeah just if you can hit the like buttons and stuff that would be great and let's look at these levels so um so this is the plan this is my more bullish plan okay i do have a little bearish plan i'll go over in a minute this is the bullish plan for me so i'm going to check what is the volume like we do have you do have this gap volume gap here all right it's just it's a bigger gap compared to the rest of them i must say let me just bring this in closer like this. I kind of want to see this in a better scope. Okay, let's pull the gap from here, okay? All right, let's move this up a bit. Let's pull from there to there, okay? I like that. I like that, okay? So, let's delete this first because I want to get this perfectly on.
it's like a surgery or something you know so right we got that volume gap right i'm going to get rid of this now we got that volume gap which is nice it's on the yearly pivot and we label it volume gap all right um i don't really need to look at this this anymore do i so and i don't need the bullish plan anymore which was that bearish one um why did I name it up? Okay, oh, because it was bullish to the top side first. Okay, I get you. All right, so we have that volume gap up here. We have the yearly pivot up there. Um, what is, I suppose I need some sort of TR pocket. Yes, 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 yes. I like this. I like this now. I do like this. Um, that is nice. Okay, let me just put the extension on it. That's nice. Like, you do have that potential, right? If this actually happens, right? You do have that potential where you come up, hit that volume gap, get that yearly pivot, and instead of going down to this, you go down to the point 0.5 because that is a big target on this, you know? So just be aware of something like that. But um, I do like this plan now, I must say. It has nice, nice confluence. You have the yearly pivot, volume gap, extension. It's all I need. It is all I need, especially if you don't hit those monthly pivots first. Um, do, if we don't come down and hit those monthly pivots first and we go up, it is a possibility too, you know. So that is the bullish plan. I'm going to go leave this here now. So let's make that bullish uh, plan. Bullish plan. I'm going to change this name. All right. I'm going to change this name to uh, higher time frame. Higher time frame plan. Right, because this is the one that I'm I'm going to go basing everything off of. It's the higher time frame plan because it's the one that's been playing out the most. And you know what everyone says? Stick to your plan. So I'm sticking to my plan. I'm just going to be doing the route, the route of Bitcoin, which way it could go first. You know, so I do think that would make a nice little trap. But um, let's go over the bearish plan now next. Okay, I do have a fractal that I want to use for this one. Um, so... You can see, like, we're holding market structure up here, but it's more or less a choppy range. And we have front run the yearly. Let me just go on to this one. Um, yearly, 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 woody. We have front run the yearly woody pivot, which is, it's all right, because it's such a hard time frame pivot, and it was a main target. If you notice on Twitter, I did an update at the start of the start of the year, um, going over the quarterly pivots, monthly pivots, the yearly pivots, bi-yearly pivots, uh, everything um that were to the top side and i was kind of giving a warning that there was a lot of confluence for the move up um so we got that really nice move up got it the main target was this yearly pivot we have hit it on a few exchanges since we have hit it now i'm kind of thinking okay there is a potential of us to come back down and we have that monthly pivots just spawned there today so we have monthly pivots below us and we do have the, we could get that reason of move up to take the highs but there is money pivots right below us right now so you can't ignore that um you can't ignore that at all so what i'm thinking really is i have a little fractal um i have a fractal and i like the idea of it because i had this is a nice zone and i went over liquidity as well last week and there was plenty of liquidity below those lows so if you take those lows there is an up, a chance that you can just drop straight down to that level so and i like the way that the because it is we're bullish right here and if we're going to hold the bullish market structure i'd rather us hold the higher low down here because it would throw people off you know so like people would be waiting for this liquidity grab down here for a long but instead we just put in higher lows before moving up and to the next which my next target will be the traditional um traditional traditional yearly pivot which would be up here around 27k um but yeah i think that'll be enough for today we have i have pretty much went over the two plans that i'm kind of looking at right now and um if you enjoyed that stuff give us a like um leave a comment as well let me know how i did and um yeah i'm going to catch all of you on the lounge in the side and lounge or on twitter and um have a good rest of the week and good luck this month all right i can see you again cheers